Hi friends, Steffi here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a sit down chat 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 chit chat video because I haven't done one in a while. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys um, because that's the kind of mood I have been in rather than your normal beauty video review videos. Um, so basically let's just kind of bite this video straight away and say yes, new hair, new change took me a while to get used to it. Basically, I went in to the hairdressers and I haven't been to hairdressers in about seven years, believe it or not, and I went in for a change. The change was a root mount. So basically, I had blonde hair and I was just getting fed up of the roots. Whenever you had your blonde done, the roots was just going to be just full of blonde and it was annoying me. I didn't, it didn't feel right, it didn't feel look natural. And so, I got my roots darkened, which is I call a root melt, and then she put a toner on my hair and it turned grey. Honestly, I don't mind it. I've always wanted to see what I look like with grey hair and it looks really cool and it's really good. But it's a toner so it will wash out. I have some of the ends are actually blonde, so I just have to wash it more maybe two or three more times and then I'm guessing I'll go back to my blonde hair that I'm everyone's used to seeing me. But for now, we're embracing the change, we're embracing the grey hair and it's just really, really nice. Um, I really don't mind it and I'm trying to get used to the dark roots. I literally cannot get used to them. Um, it's taking a while, especially when I'm like going to the beach and like washing my hair and getting my hair wet and then coming out of the shower and seeing like dark everywhere. Like even the blonde, if see this is grey, like a grey ash. So it's like whoa, so different. But I don't mind it, I really don't. Now I think it's just a little bit of some time to take a break from blonde but obviously then what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be just getting some more rooted maybe going down blending it in with the blonde um, just be a bit more natural then eventually maybe some lights and stuff like that I just sort of fed off the bleach blonde bombshell if that makes sense so basically that's just a little bit of info what's been going on with my hair a um, bit of more info of why I haven't been on YouTube for a while and if you saw my last video, which is her about her little papery, which was my Etsy shop, I've kind of been focusing on that for a while. Plain and simple, I've been enjoying making stuff and I've always loved stationery. Um, I did remember opening Sprinkle Paper on Etsy about four years ago before I came back. I think it was like three, three, three years ago, four years ago. When I came back from England, I had was starting in England and then came back and then just totally just left it there. Um, so I've always been into stationery. I've always loved like planner stuff. That's basically the main thing is like planner and then we're going to a bit of baby, gift wear and stuff like that. Like we're slowly work opening so many different things and just kind of creating different things. Planner stickers come soon and all these different things. And I just love creating and creating stuff. So that's basically what I have been doing at the moment. Apart from work, which is my nine to five job. I work a full time job, guys. It's sometimes it's kind of tiring, especially in the summertime when it's really hot after work. I never want to film. I know some people actually film at night, 11, 10 o'clock at night. Honestly, 10 o'clock at night, I'm usually with Ryan, watching a film, having something to eat, and that's my me and Ryan time, so I don't film at that kind of time. And then Saturdays has been turning into my Etsy shop instead, so it has been a bit of a mind crazy thing. Um, I do want to try and get blogging back up and up and like running again. And there's so much stuff I really want to do, but I just need to try and find more time. Time is limited, that's why I decided to open her little papery because time for me is not running out but I want to make use of the time that I have at the moment. Um, YouTube's always been a part of me, especially with the opportunities that it's given me um, with so many brands, Max Factor, with the Max Factor squad. Um, I've worked with so many other, other brands, there's been like loads of people like send me things, I'm always grateful for these things. But I wouldn't class myself anymore um, as a just a beauty girl. I, you don't see me really doing beauty tutorials, makeup tutorials, not that much. Um, I really want to go into a different um, viewership I guess and a, just a different area 
of things that I want to do on this channel so um, that's why it's been taking me a while to upload because in reality I want to film differently I want to do different um, sit down chit chat with you guys um, talk about different topics interacting with you guys in the comments rather than just putting up a makeup tutorial and just just leaving it there kind of thing so that's basically why I haven't filmed because I'm going in a different direction and the direction I want to go in is not something that I'm still getting used to vlogging is still something that I'm still not 100% about like I have a vlogging camera I have the tripod to take me around but I'm still not confident enough to constantly use that so that's being big that's being honest I'm, I'm more of that kind of girl I sit down in the room in her room talking to a camera or to you guys and just kind of respecting myself like that um, but basically if you guys want to kind of do maybe chit chat videos we'll do like topics um, if you want to if you guys want to leave some questions some like, topics to talk about we can kind of go through them I can share my thoughts on certain things that happen um, in your everyday life I guess and I can chit chat and just chit chat and talk to you guys about them and then I kind of we can kind of talk about everything in the comments below that's basically how I want to kind of change this up and change my viewership I'm not saying I'm never going to do makeup shorts I'm not saying I'm going to do beauty reviews because I love beauty reviews and I think there'll be more beauty reviews than makeup tutorials like definitely I have definitely I have a beauty review on this brand which is called Charlotte La Roche La Roche La Roche I don't know how to pronounce this properly and um, they were they have a really nice skincare brand and I've been testing this out for at least a month and a half and it's well overdue the review so you guys are going to see this review up shortly because I really want to sit down and talk to you guys about this and tell you guys about the brand about the prices if they ship to Malta if they ship worldwide Stuff like that so basically that's basically why I just want to sit down I had some free time to sit down and talk to you guys um, on the camera I am a bit unwell at the moment I have a blocked nose and I'm constantly coughing and not in the best frame of mind to have makeup put on my face but I decided for this video um, I'm going to just sit down and try and film the video so that's basically what I've been up to um, and stuff like that. But I really want to stop and show you guys some new things that I've made for her for you. So hold there. So these are the new cards that I I've, I've actually put up on my Etsy shop. So this is probably my favorite one, which I really love designing. This says congratulations. Um, let me see if it. And then it says shit got real. Shit just got real. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I love the way I designed this, it's so cute and he has like a bow tie and she has some floral like you know and then at the back this is how I have them so I have like a little snippet of what the actual card is what it's called black inside and then some like little stuff at the bottom with my social media and stuff like that so that's one I just created I think it was like two days ago um, I do have a donut one which is so cute the donut is so adorable and it says, I don't, I do not know what I'd do without you. And it has a nice cute heart at the bottom as well. This does come in the normal donut and a chocolate donut. So I did kind of do two of those. I have a happy birthday, but the birthday um, is a bit different. I did it with a B-R-R-T-D-A-Y without the H, just to change it up a little bit because it's kind of funny like that. And the cool little design. So that's that one. Um, I have two baby ones, which are these here. So it says brand new little dude and brand new little lady. I just think these are gorgeous. And I personally think they're a little bit of a twist on your normal um, baby shower cards and stuff like that. And then this one is just something for Valentine's Day or anniversary card. Today I have loved you for 365 days, which is a year. Um, you can change it if, if you want to custom make it, you can. If you have been with your other half for two, three years, just let me know. I'll calculate it for you and I'll write it down for you. So you can get a red heart or a black heart with that one. Um, and then I've actually just made the cutest milestone cards for when you have a baby. Oh my God, I just enjoyed doing these. Now these are just a little sample set that I did um but basically these are called the baby moment and milestone cards and you get a set of 
30 so we're gonna try and let you zoom in so you guys can see and then you have um these so this is just i just did that snippet and just printed out a snippet of what they all different cards look like so let me show you guys so there's gonna be a couple of these um so this is basically today i walked for the first time i think that was i think that's the whole thing yeah i worked for the first time and then with the wind this is moving and there's a date at the bottom um we have a couple of these that say today i am one week old and then we have two weeks old three weeks old a couple of that and then we have like them but with months so i'm six months old with the cute little banner as well uh, let's see and then we have the one year old which is really cute i did print this one so today i'm one year old um and then i've got just two of these i've got two different ones like this um today this is today my first tooth came through with the date which is cute and i think there's one i think it was one that i walked for the first time something like that uh, my first word was spoken something like that and then they all get this which is called hello world and you have the name the date the time um your weight and the length of the baby and i like the fact that i did them pretty much unisex because you've got both pink and blue and then you have a bit of mixture of neutrals so you can this can be for a baby girl or a boy and they look amazing so those are in my shop at the moment i think this is the newest thing that i have in the shop at the moment um but i did want to print some just to see what they look like and stuff like that and you know they're just cute like that so i just want to show you some guys what i've been up to basically her little papery has been amazing and i'm very happy with it but i want to show you guys exactly what i'm doing as well so i really hope you stay with me stick with me for new videos coming soon i promise it will be just be a bit different than normal so thumbs up if you enjoyed this subscribe if you haven't i've seen so many new subscribers so welcome to all the new subscribers who have just subscribed to me hi i'm steffi nice to meet you and i'll see you guys in the next video have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and i'll see you guys very soon bye everyone